Hello there, card number ones. Notice my new backdrop. Pretty amazing. Not really. <laughs> but actually, I'm shooting this in my living room because as much as I love my office, it's, you know, my sacred space. It's my zen den. The lighting in there sucks. And so my living room has really nice light. And that's the only reason I'm here because it fills in my wrinkles. But anyway, back to the most important part is hello, welcome to Free Reading Friday, card number ones. And the card that you picked this week is the Page of Cups. Page of, I love this card. It's so colorful and bright and whimsical. And, you know, an interesting um, observation about the, actually many of the cards in the tarot deck, but let's just look at this one in particular. Do you notice how it looks like he's standing on a stage? Look at that. And it looks like that's a backdrop behind him. In fact, I would argue that this looks very much like a performer in a Shakespearean play. Now, interestingly, the artist that created the Rider Waite deck was a theatrical designer. So it doesn't surprise me that many of the images look just like a character on a stage. So the reason I share that with you is because it's very applicable to this card for you this week. So the Page of Cups is very, very playful. If you think about the court cards, as the Page of Cups is a court card. There's kings, queens, knights, and pages. And what the court cards are like, they are, um, you can think of them almost like families. You have the mother, father, teenager. No, actually, this is a younger person. Um, teenager, which is like the knight's energy, you know young adult kind of energy and then the page which is the tween and the and the younger uh, younger children but I'm talking about the energy of a family unit and so the page of cups is like in the cups family so in other words all you know relationshipy lovey um, intuitive mm, uh, performing arty creativity okay so you know coming from the heart so for you, um, you know, for you this week, I think that what this message is trying to tell you is to just tap into that lightheartedness. Sometimes all we need for a situation, really, I mean, the only thing you can control is your reaction to a situation. You can't control what's happening around you, right? Uh, you can't even control what's happening to you. You can only you know, control what you're reacting, your reaction to what's happening to you. So sometimes the best thing you can do is just to stay lighthearted about it, have a sense of humor about it, some playfulness about it. Just, just a reminder to this week when things get really tough or, you know, you might feel a challenge or maybe you're struggling with some personalities in your life is to just maybe try and see the lighthearted side of it, the playful side of it. Um, that kind of message, just being playful and and lighthearted and, you know, also out of the box thinking. I mean, there's a freaking fish coming out of the cup for God's sake. So this is also in kind of the out of the box card, you know, what's, what's some imaginative way that I can deal with this situation or come up with a solution to this situation? What's the kind of imaginative way that I can create um, a solution to my challenge or decision I have to make? All right. Hope you loved this free reading Friday. Please comment below if it resonated with you or not. I'm open to both totally. And I want you all to have a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. And we will see you next week.